guys welcome to my channel algebra cheat sheets uh, in this video i'll be showing you how to solve algebra problems in a very fastest and easy way so our first topic for today is factoring common monomial so let's get it on So guys, our topic again for today is factoring common monomial. So let's get with the examples right away. So if you have this kind of polynomial, 4x minus 8. So the first thing you need to do is in order for you to get the common uh, factor of the whole number, is try to divide the big number with the small number. In this case, 8 divided by 4. And if that is possible, then the factor, the, ho the whole number factor for that polynomial would be the small number. So for example, again, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So meaning 8 is divisible by 4. So your um, factor would be 4. And you place number 4 on the outside and then inside the parenthesis would be x minus 8 divided by 4, 2. So that will be your answer. Then number 2 is 15x plus 5xy. So, again, try to divide the big number with the small number. If it is possible, then the, the whole number factor would be the small number. So, again, this 1, 15 is divisible by 5. So, your whole number factor would be the 5. And then, try to look for other common with the, with the 2. So, the common would be x. So, you place x. Then, in the inside, you divide the two monomials. And divide the monomials with your factor. So, 15x divided by 5x would be 3. Because 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. And x divided by x is equal to 1. So, you won't have to place x there anymore. Plus, 5xy divided by 5x is y. Because 5 divided by 5 is 1. x divided by x is 1. And so what's left is y. So that is your answer right away. Number 3 is 28x squared minus 14xy squared. So, again, with what I told you, try to uh, divide the big number with the small number. If it is possible, the whole number factor would be the small number. So, 28 is divisible by 14. So, you place 14. And then, the next common of the two monomials is x. So, write down x. Then, inside the parenthesis would be 28 divided by 14 is 2. And then, x squared divided by x would be x. Because if you divide um, uh, a, if you divide x squared and x, it would be the exponent would be subtracted between the two. So, in this case, um, x squared divided by x, so 2 minus 1. This is already given as 1. If there's no exponent in this one, it's understood as 1. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So x squared divided by x would be x minus 14xy squared divided by 14x 
will be y squared. So, this is your answer right away. Number four. 2x cubed y minus 12x squared y to the power of 4 plus 6x y squared. So, the smallest number is number 2. 12 is divisible by 2. 6 is divisible by 2. So, your common whole number factor would be 2. And then, the next common is x because the three monomials has x. And then, the next one is y. So, you write down 2xy times 2x cubed divided on 2x cubed y divided by 2xy is x squared because 2 divided by 2 is 1 x cubed divided by x would be x squared because again the if you divide this 2 you have to subtract the exponent so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so x squared then y will be eliminated minus don't forget that you should follow the sign that's always the common mistakes not following the sign the if it is negative or positive then 12 x squared y to the power of 4 divided by 2 x y so 12 divided by 2 is 6 x squared divided by x would be x y to the power of 4 divided by y is y cube then plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 x divided by x 1 and you'll just have to eliminate it y squared divided by y is y so this is your answer then lastly 24 x to the power of 4 y squared plus 18x cubed y squared minus 6x squared y squared. So again, use the small number, try to try to divide if try to see if the big numbers are divisible by the smallest number. So 24 is divisible by 6, 18 is divisible by 6. So, your whole number factor would be 6. Then, the next common of the three monomials is x. So, x. And then, the next one would be y squared. Because all of them are in squared. Oh, by the way, um x squared sorry this would be x squared also um before I forget you'll have to use if you have this um monomials uh polynomials um with try to for factoring always use the exponent of the smallest of the three or of the smallest of the polynomial so for again uh, for example x to the power of 4 x cubed and x squared the smallest polynomial uh, exponent of the 3 is squared so you'll have to use x squared and for y it's ju uh, they are all the same y squared so you'll have to use y squared so 6 x squared y squared times 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. x to the power of 4 divided by x squared is x squared. And then y squared divided by y squared, so you'll just have to eliminate it. Then plus, 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. x cubed divided by x squared is x. y squared divided by y squared, so eliminated. Minus 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1 so you don't have to write it anymore x squared divided by x squared is also 1 
y squared divided by y squared is 1. So, if divided by it, uh, by its own, so you just have to write 1. So, this will be your final answer. So, it's just a short topic for today. I hope I was able to help with your studies for math. So, if you have any questions, please let me know and subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. So, every time I have a new video, uh, you'll be the first one to see it right away. And again, if you have any questions, please comment down so I'll know. So I can answer any of your questions and give you uh, other ways on how to solve it. So thank you and please subscribe to my channel.